Welcome to part two of building our family home where we build the home that we will be living in in just a few short months. We can't wait to show you what we got done this week. Hello, welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you've been here before. This is part two of the series building our family home. I've got my little helper today eating this little wrap that she's in. If you've missed part one, go check out my channel and you will find the playlist building our family home. And um, this is part two, like I said, we have lots of exciting things that have been happening on the house this week in our current home that we're living in. I've been packing up the house a little bit. So I've been packing up the house a little bit this week. Um, as you can see behind me, I have like zero decor on the walls. So yeah, the bed's just completely unmade. That's just life, you know. We have lots of cabinet updates in the house. So sometime this week when we go down there, I will take you guys with us and you can see what we've been doing down there. Just gonna start packing up a little bit today and see how much I can get done. Pro tip, pack earlier than you think that you need to because it is going to take longer than you think it's going to take. So I've been trying to pack up just little by little, especially because I have two kids. I've been trying to pack up little by little so that I, on moving day, I'm not like stuffing boxes of random stuff. I can actually, right now, go through stuff and even like declutter the stuff that I know I'm not gonna wear anymore or that I know I'm gonna, not gonna use anymore or want. I've been selling things um, because I've been taking my time with packing. So I've been able to like sell things and make a little bit of money, which has been nice. So yeah, just a little packing pro tip for you because I'm, you know, such an expert at packing things. I just went through my winter clothes. This box is way too small for what? I want to just go ahead and pack up. Um, the rest of my clothes I'm probably gonna leave on hangers and just grab and like shove in a car um, on the day of moving. Maybe even put them in plastic like trash bags. I don't know if y'all have seen that little trash bag hack, um, but you basically just like put a bunch of your clothes in trash bags and tie it at the top of the hangers and leave the hangers like sticking out. Um, I may or may not do that. I don't know if it saves time. I'm not really sure I've done it once or twice before when we moved. I don't really know if it saved as much time as it would have just been to just carry the clothes to like a car and just lay them down in a car. Um, we are moving down the street so we aren't having to put everything in boxes but we are putting a lot of stuff in boxes because that's just going to be that's just going to make it easier for a move-in day um, and we want to take like the least amount of time moving as possible. Yeah I even have my wedding dress in here that I need to figure out. Um, I was supposed to ship it like five years ago and have it um, like put in a little box and preserved, but I never did it. I still have it here in my closet. I need to find some sort of protective covering for that too, because <laughs> it's just chilling in my closet. Yeah, I don't know what else I need to pack up. Maybe some things for the in the living room. Maybe find a different box for this. That may have to wait until she goes to bed because it's kind of hard to bend over right now um, without like tilting her head upside down.
we are at the house. I'm gonna try not to make you guys super dizzy. The last video I feel like was a little dizzying. My main thing is we've got built-ins. So these are gonna be shelves in here and we're gonna have cabinet doors over them. And then over here, so you can see Connor has started to build the, what is this called? Mantle. mantle. Yep. And then our TV's gonna go up here. We're gonna have our mantle. So I decided on this side, I wanted to do drawers. So he's already started to put in the drawer things in here. And then it's gonna be cabinets in front. So it's gonna look even on both sides, but this one's gonna be drawers for like movies and stuff like that. So I decided I wanted to do that. And then Connor's gonna be the one to build the shelves that go up the sides. Um, and then Connor's also gonna be doing the tile around the fireplace sometime soon. Yeah, what do you think about turning it all the way to here? Here's the bottom Yeah, I think that would be fine. Okay, and then other exciting thing that came in today, our island, it's still not installed yet, but our island came in today. So this is gonna be where the dishwasher is. And then our sink is gonna be right here in the middle. Um, this is gonna go inside eventually. And then these are just some more cabinets. And then eventually we'll get the countertop for all of the cabinets. He's making the hood vent right now too. And then so yeah, we'll have a, the hood vent will be right here. We'll have a cabinet right here. The stove is gonna be here. And then, yeah, and then the hood vent's gonna go all the way and it's gonna start right here. He told me that today. Nice. So this will be the bottom. Perfect. Of I think that'll look really good. Look right in here. So. And then it'll come out and it'll stick out like, like right here. So it'll stick out a little bit past cabinets. Nice. So. Yeah, it'll look good. What are y'all doing? Cuties. So sometime soon, the tile guy yeah. is going to come and do the shower. Connor decided he did not want to risk tiling the shower just in case we don't want, we want a professional to do the tile in here. And just in case for like black mold and stuff like that, we don't want that. We don't want mold issues to happen. So. So they're gonna. What I can explain it. We're gonna take out all of our sheetrock that we worked so hard to put in, just like this level all the way around. Why are they gonna take that out? Is it not waterproof? It it is, but he said it's not waterproof enough. So they're gonna do Harvey backer, which is like that concrete board, like all the way around here, and then they'll waterproof it all the way down, Thank and then they'll you, waterproof it all the way up, and then they'll tile it. They're going to tile this end coming up. Oh, they're going to put a shelf right here. Okay. Put Since we have to take out the sheetrock anyways. Sheet anyway. So they're going to put a shelf right there so we can have stuff. We'll take the corner ones back. Perfect. And then they're going to tile from the bottom of this up, uh, up the wall. And then they'll tile all of this all the way around, all the way up. And then we'll have glass. And then we'll have a glass right door here. here. And I think he right said here. he's going to do a tile. Like a little bit on the outside, on both sides. That'll look good. Or just run it. Now, where are we gonna put our towel rod? So it's gonna be on the door. Either we can get one without, or we can put like a rope hook, like right here, or we can stick it on this side. Right here. Have to reach all the way around, though. Well, you can make your door open this way. Yeah. And then just reach around and grab your towel. Yeah, I guess that's not terrible. Or you can put a rope hook right here, and your towel will just almost touch the ground. Or we can get a door with a with a hook on it. I just figured we do a glass door with just a handle where you just push it open. Yeah, we can do it maybe there. I don't know. I'll we'll look at pictures. Another big development in the house. We got the ground leveled, so the guy can come in and set posts. Right? Set posts. Is that the right term? Set posts. Set posts on the backyard and start doing the fence. No. Yeah, he can start the fence, right? Oh well, yeah, he's gonna set posts and then we can start landscaping. Okay, yeah. And then, so and some backyard the, things are happening. And our nice porch. Big old porch. All right, let's go back home, it's hot. Okay. So I am so excited about what we have gotten done in the house. Um, next video, we're gonna be working on getting all of the cabinets installed, doing some fun things with our mudroom, building some things in there. There's still not a lot that I can do over here um, on my end of things. I've just kind of helped kind of design everything and pick colors. 
Um, so fun stuff will be coming soon. I'm not sure when we're going to be able to paint. Uh, maybe not in the next video, but maybe in the video after that, we'll be able to do some painting. Um, and we should, um, finish up trim and all the cabinets and stuff by next video. So by next week, hopefully we will have everything, um, like that finished so we can start painting. We may next week get the front of the house painted or like the outside of the house painted. Um, we do have brick on the outside of the house, but we also have like a board and batten, um, that I'm wanting to paint as well. So hopefully that um, gets done soon. Maybe we'll have some tile done in our shower. Um, so lots of exciting things coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and for tuning in on this series. Um, and I will catch you next week in part three. Bye guys. Oh my goodness. <coughs> oh my goodness. You tell them, you tell them. What are you guys doing? Cuties. What are you doing? He's touching pipe. All right, let's get out of here. It's hot in this room. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bro.